And now let's move from questionable to revolutionary technology. A war has been brewing in Italy for decades, and now the Italians have got a new high-tech weapon to turn the tide. Before we continue, I should mention here the war is over cheese, specifically Parmesan cheese from the mountains of Italy. That's the only kind that can officially be called Parmesan in Europe. It has a protected designation of origin. But all over the world, there are cheese counterfeits. They're looking to get a slice of that Parmesan profit. So the Italians have introduced a novel way to ensure authenticity, microchips. They're attaching edible microchips to their wheels of cheese. So the next plate of pasta could have a silicon surprise. Here's a report. What would you do to protect your brand? How far would you go to preserve your trademark? Would you be willing to feed your customers computer chips? Because that's exactly what cheesemakers from Italy are doing. They're embedding microchips in their famous Parmesan cheese. Centuries ago, high in Italy's Apennine Mountains, a group of monks made a discovery. They found a way to preserve cheese over long periods and have it taste great the whole time. They had created Italy's famed Parmesan cheese. It's known as Parmigiano Reggiano in Italian. It's named for the two provinces where it's made, Parma and Reggio Emilia. And these are the only places where Parmesan cheese can officially come from. Because it's been given a protected designation of origin, this is a marker of authenticity. It's known by many names across the world, but its function is the same everywhere. Certifying a region as the true home of a product, marking the original birthplace of a beloved and respected good. You know how to qualify as champagne a sparkling wine needs to come from the Champagne region of France? In the same way, to really be Parmesan, cheese needs to come from Parma and Reggio Emilia. Cheese from anywhere else cannot be called Parmesan. Not in the EU, anyway. Italian Parmesan producers got the protected designation of origin in 1996. They fought hard for it, because it's not easy to make Parmesan. One wheel of the cheese is usually made from 550 litres of milk. They end up weighing about 40 kilograms each. Then they have to be matured for at least 12 months. That too, in the mountainous air of Parma or Reggio Emilia. After all that, the cheese has to pass an inspection. Experts test it two years after production. They have to make sure the cheese meets quality standards. As you can see, it takes a lot of work for cheese to become Parmesan. So just imagine someone not doing all this and still taking the credit. It would be infuriating for the Italian cheese crafters and they would do anything to ensure authenticity. Not to mention, they would hate to share the profits from their craft. Believe it or not, the Parmesan business is quite lucrative. Last year, sales were worth about $3.15 billion. It was a record high. But the counterfeit Parmesan market has been growing too. Italy's authentic Parmesan producers have an association. It's called the Parmigiano Reggiano Consortium. They estimate that counterfeit Parmesan sales touched $2 billion globally last year. That means about 40% of all Parmesan sold last year was fake. It's a huge loss for the Italian cheese crafters. But it's also an age-old problem. The cheesemakers from Italy have been trying to fight counterfeit cheese for over a century. The forgeries have been on the rise since after World War I. Over the years, the Parmesan Cheese Association has been upping its game, using modern technology to fight the counterfeit cheese. And now, they have their latest tool, edible microchips. The microchips are technically normal. They're edible because they're small, as small as a grain of salt. So even if you eat them, you'll be fine. But if you're still worried, don't fret. The microchips aren't placed randomly on Parmesan cheese wheels. They're embedded in a QR code on the cheese skin. A wheel of cheese has a hard skin made of the protein casein. Most people don't eat it. So don't worry, the microchip won't go into your pizza without you knowing. Each chip carries a unique digital ID. Blockchain technology is reportedly used to ensure no duplicates are possible. And the ID tells you everything about the cheese from when it was made and where, to even the dairy farm where the milk for the cheese came from. 
It's a thorough digital ID, accessible with a laser chip reader. Now, this high-tech cheese tracking may seem a bit excessive to some, but remember, there's a lot at stake. And by lots, we mean billions of dollars. The pride of Parma and Reggio Emilia is also on the line. So the Parmesan cheesemakers are doing everything to ensure that the counterfeits are toast. <laughs>